hey guys welcome to the channel so i want to follow on from the video um i made a couple days ago just giving you guys a heads up on what's happening with me um but i want to open this video with a massive thanks to everyone that sent positive well wishes through to me because honestly i'm a, a big believer that if you stay positive it really does help you get better so i am i am you know thank you guys for that it's awesome however I want to update you guys on what's going on now because we've kind of got a treatment plan which is good and also well it's it's good news it's not bad news but it means that i've got a better outlook over the next few weeks as to what's going to happen so three days ago i started taking strong steroids um they're starting to work now which is the good news um my symptoms are less however steroids have very strong side effects um, for me, I you find it hard to think straight. You, well, I get mood swings off it. Um, I can't sleep at night, and I've got to take this for two months now, and I'm I'm three days into it. So I suspect um, as we go through this, now I, I've done this four or five times before in the past, so I I know what's going to happen. This isn't me going into the unknown. I know what's going to happen over the next few weeks. It's going to be quite rough. Uh, mentally more than anything um, from this medication which means that it can be difficult to make videos because without sounding extreme I probably won't know what I'm saying <laughs> I will but it might be like what so I've got to be really careful um, with that stuff however tomorrow I go into hospital for final blood tests and scans and x-rays um, to be approved for a medication called adalimumab or adalimumab adalimumab that's the name um you may have heard of this if, if you're in the states as a drug called humira now if you google it don't be like oh my god style what the hell that's so expensive um it, it is but i'm in england and with the nhs stuff like this is like everything is heavily subsidized so it's it's really cheap for us to pay for this ourselves. um so don't worry about that it's more so just getting approved so i hope that i get approved for that which will just mean that i finish these two weeks of steroids uh, two, two months of steroids and then uh, every two weeks i'm using like a self injector pen just injecting myself with the humira equivalent drug and then i think that extends out to six weeks and i'll just sort of be on that forever and it, provided it keeps me in a good place I want to just talk a little bit about what what is going on. Like, what is this thing that's wrong with me? Because um, I think it's good for raising awareness. And I have, I, you know, this is going to sound mental, but I have had thousands of people reach out to me saying, I know someone with ulcerative colitis. I know someone with Crohn's, you know, they're asking me questions. But I just kind of want to explain uh, what my case is. But I also want to heavily stress that you have to listen to your doctors. This is a case by case condition. Like one drug works for someone, it doesn't work for somebody else. Now, I was showing symptoms of Crohn's when I was 18. Um, when I was 19, it was difficult. I, I used to play football. Uh, if any of you guys ever heard of me talk about this, but I used to play for Port Vale. I used to play, uh, well, and I played for uh, West Bromwich Albion's um, academy team. And I started to get ill. And, like, I had problems with, like, my fitness levels. I, I was suffering from a lot of fatigue. I didn't really know what was going on. Um, and then a year later, I went into hospital. And it, it was pretty bad. I had to have intravenous steroids, which messed me up in a lot of ways. Um, it damages your bones, your joints, all kinds of stuff. It had to be done, as you know, the other alternative is, well, you're not here anymore, so that, that was done. Anyway, after that, we sort of, you know, I'm, like, I'm 20, 21 at this point. I was put on a drug called Pentasa. Um, and more steroids, uh, although they were oral steroids. The steroids I'm taking now, in fact. Um, and the steroid course was a short one to get, well, like a two-month course. And the Pentasa I, I took for the next couple of years. And, and everything was kind of okay. Never back to normal, but okay. Because all it is with this condition is trying to manage your quality of life. Um, that I went on the head from that. And it I started to get worse again. And then I had to go back on steroids. 
um and at this point i was maybe 24 um they wanted me to take a drug called azathioprine which is a much stronger uh long-term sort of maintenance medication that can have loads of side effects now luckily for me um i i'll, I'll, tell, I'll tell you what my side effects were they were um nausea so if i when i took the medication i was very you know like when the if, you, if, if you've ever had when the room spins that, that feeling but i'd get it after i took this medication like every day it was bad to get around it i'd take it and get in bed and go to sleep and if i went to sleep before i got nauseous it was fine right so i could could it kind of get away with it that way however when i woke up i'd have a massive headache in the morning um this would be in fact one of the reasons why if any of you guys watching this video if we ever went to events or anything together i'd never go and get breakfast in the morning because i would be wrecked like i'd be absolutely wrecked uh anyway i also had fluorescent urine <laughs> which is always a funny one that made me laugh and um, that was it like nothing else really affected me negatively with that anyway um we fast forward to my um this used to be pinned on my Twitter. This was the, the message I got from my doctor last in, in 2019. Sixth, or the 10th of the 6th, so um, June or July, June, right? Um, saying that I am pleased to inform you that after the biopsies we've taken and the camera test we've done, your colitis is in remission. The first time in my entire adult life, I was like, what, I'm in remission? And I felt normal. This can sound really cheesy and sad. I felt normal for a good eight months after that. And I, I thought, Sh shit, basically, this is amazing. Like, is this, this is what it's like. I forgot what it's like. Fortunately, it didn't last. Um, so about four months ago, I started to get symptoms coming back. Um, only, only minor. So we tried to manage it in some ways. It obviously didn't work. Um, now... Well, two weeks ago, I had tests to see if I could go back on azathioprine. Unfortunately, I can't because that medication sound extreme. It'd be fatal to me, so I can't take that medication. It's to do with the way it interacts and high risk factors and all kinds of stuff. That now, because I'd taken it for so long, then stopped taking it, that I can't take it again. So this was stressful for me, and this was pretty much when I made the the video saying to you guys, like, this is I don't know what's going to happen because. That's sort of, I've just been given that news in a way. However, tomorrow when I go into hospital, this medication gets approved um, if I pass the final test, which I should do. Um, very high chance that I do. I think it could be life-changing. But what it means is that for the next few weeks, while I'm taking high steroids, and then probably in a week or two weeks' time, I start doing these injections, there's going to be a double whammy there of I don't know how it's going to affect me. Which means it's going to be difficult for me to... I'm going to cough, apologies. Yeah, so the next few weeks are just going to be a little bit of an unknown. I don't think we're going to go into... There's no videos coming out on the channel. I'll make videos when I can. Because if I'm honest with you guys, one of the ways I've dealt with this over the years when it's been bad, when I've, I've suffered really bad uh, effects from it, like the fatigue, the joint pains, 10 toilet trips a day, uh, stomach pain, all of this stuff eyesight problems um when i've suffered with that i've been able to get lost in in doing what i do and the reason why i do this is yeah it's my, it's my passion i love doing it um and i'm blessed to have a job like this but i can't have a normal job you know because if i had to work for someone sorry i can't turn up for the next two months you, you end up being fired so there were things i had to do in my life to get to this point but whatever you know it's i've been blessed to have this job it's just insane um yeah i just want to set the expectations right now the next three weeks probably is going to be very very sporadic with videos um i don't think we'll go like a week without a video or we'll make them when i can but it's going to be if my mental feels all right um if i'm not suffering side effects from medication or all of this stuff and i i just I'm I'm actually going out into the unknown, so I don't really know what I can um, commit to, which I feel like I'm letting you guys down, you know. I feel like I'm letting myself down because I'm not making all the content that I usually made. Um, 
yeah and i think i'll end the video um on that actually what i will say is thank you to everyone that's been buying the hoodies and the the joggers and the net gaze that's by far the best way to support the channel if you love over analyze and all that stuff good news is i think the delivery dates for most of the stuff was between the 11th and the 20th of december so i think almost everyone should get it before um christmas which will be like absolutely awesome and you better send me pictures of this stuff uh on twitter and instagram but yeah thank you guys i just I'm, I, I'm, and also, I just want to throw this out there. I'm not going to be making these videos all the time because I, I, f I feel there's an obligation to connect with you guys because you guys connect with me. And also, I know that if people out there see this, they'll see that, you know, it's okay to talk about what's wrong with yourself. It's okay to go out there and get support and, and do all that stuff. That's fine. Um, but, like, I want to try and get back to normal as soon as possible. And that's that's what I'm trying to focus on. Okay, guys, thank you again for all the support. You've been, you've been amazing. And uh, maybe we get some Overwatch 2 news soon. <laughs> we'll catch you guys on the next one. Toodaloo.